Bugs can be terrifying because some of them bite, sting, and even make us very sick. You might think big animals are more dangerous, but tiny bugs can be even worse. Here are 10 of the most dangerous bugs in the world, and the first one will give you chills. What is it that causes bugs to be so scary and dangerous? Let us reveal the hidden truths of these creepy crawlers that will make you shiver with fear. Painful Bite of the Bullet Ant Let's start with the bullet ant, known for being the biggest ant out there. This ant is one you definitely want to steer clear of. Despite its small size, the bullet ant delivers a sting that can leave you in extreme pain. The sting of this ant is often said to be the most painful of any insect sting humans have ever experienced. The pain is so intense that it's compared to feeling like you've been shot, hence the name bullet ant. These ants live in the thick, humid rainforests of Nicaragua, Bolivia and Paraguay, usually around the bases of trees. Not only are they the largest ants you might come across, but their stings are also far more painful than a honeybee's, about 30 times more, to be exact. The bullet ants use their painful sting only for defense. When they feel threatened by anything, whether it's a large animal or a human, they will sting over and over. The venom they release causes severe pain, a sensation of burning and swelling that can last for a whole day. Now you might wonder, why would such a small creature need such a powerful defense? Well, in the wild, showing strength is key to survival. By delivering such a potent sting, the bullet ant ensures that predators think twice before messing with them again. Living in the rainforest means facing a lot of potential threats, so having a strong defense mechanism is crucial for the bullet ant's survival. Their aggressive defense not only protects them, but also sends a clear message to any creature that might consider them an easy target. But wait, that's not the worst on our list. Next up, we have botflies, which might be one of the most unsettling insects you could encounter. The larvae of these flies are parasites that grow inside mammals, including humans. Here's how it happens. Female bot flies lay eggs on the skin of mammals, and when the larvae hatch, they burrow under the skin where they stay for more than two months. During this time, they can cause a lot of discomfort and health issues. People who have had bot fly larvae under their skin say they can actually feel them moving around, which is as unsettling as it sounds. After the larvae mature, they leave the host's body. If you're planning a trip to Mexico, South America, or any rainforest areas, it's a good idea to be extra careful. Be on the lookout for any strange symptoms after you return, especially if you've been in areas where these flies are known to live. It's especially eerie if these larvae end up near your neck, because some people report being able to hear the larvae inside them. Just imagine hearing something moving under your skin. This is why it's crucial to take preventive measures if you're traveling to places where bot flies are common. Simple precautions like wearing protective clothing and using insect repellent can save you from a lot of trouble. Bot flies are not just a minor nuisance. They can seriously affect your health if not addressed. So it's always better to be safe than sorry when dealing with these creepy crawlers. Let's talk about fleas. These tiny insects are not just a minor irritation. They are capable of causing serious problems. Despite being wingless, fleas are incredibly adept at jumping, which allows them to easily hop onto various hosts, including humans, dogs, cats, and birds. They're infamous for their history with the Black Plague, where they played a significant role in spreading the deadly disease that claimed about 25 million lives in 14th century Europe. Fleas spend their lives in a constant search for a warm place to settle and feed. They prefer warm blood and will attach themselves to any suitable host 
they can find. These little bloodsuckers are external parasites, which means they live off the blood of other creatures without offering any benefit in return. Fleas are extremely tiny, about the size of a pen tip, but don't let their size fool you. They can be a big problem. Each female flea is a prolific breeder, laying up to 2,000 eggs over her lifetime. This rapid reproduction can lead to massive infestations if not quickly controlled, and the best part is yet to come. Out of the thousands of species of fleas found globally, only about a dozen pose a real threat to humans, primarily through the spread of diseases like the plague and flea-borne typhus. The most noteworthy flea species include the rat flea, the human flea, and the cat flea. Each plays a different role in the ecosystem and the spread of diseases. The best defense against fleas is cleanliness and vigilance. Regularly vacuuming your living spaces and keeping a close eye on your pets for signs of excessive scratching are key steps in preventing flea infestations. It's also important to treat your pets with flea prevention products to keep them, and you, safe from these tiny pests. After exploring the world of bullet ants and bot flies, let's move on to fire ants, known for their painful and quick responses to threats. Hidden danger of fire ant mounds. Now onto fire ants. While it's rare, these small ants can be deadly. They are notorious for their painful and potentially dangerous bites. Fire ants build their colonies underground, often right under our feet in parks, yards, or fields. They mound up the earth above their nests, creating dirt piles that can be easy to miss if you're not looking for them. If you accidentally step on or near a fire ant mound, the consequences can be immediate and painful. These ants swarm quickly and aggressively, biting and stinging anyone who disturbs their home. They use their jaws to grip their target firmly before injecting a venomous sting that burns intensely, hence the name fire ants. The pain from a fire ant sting often results in a swollen bump, causing discomfort and irritation for days. Some people are highly allergic to fire ant venom which can lead to severe allergic reactions, including anaphylactic shock, a life-threatening condition that requires immediate medical attention. Fire ants are incredibly protective of their colony. They view any disturbance as a threat and respond with aggressive force. Their venom, a mix of alkaloids and proteins, is not only painful but can also be dangerous. Avoiding fire ant mounds and being cautious in areas where they are known to live can help prevent unwanted and painful encounters. For those living in fire ant prone areas, it's crucial to manage ant colonies around your home to reduce the risk of bites and stings. Regular checks and treatments of your yard can help keep these fiery pests at bay. Stay tuned to find out more about this Let's talk about the kissing bug, which despite its romantic sounding name, is far from being a welcome guest. This bug is a parasite that prefers to feed on blood, and it's attracted to the carbon dioxide that humans breathe out. This means that if you're a mouth breather, especially when you sleep, you might just be the perfect target for these critters. Kissing bugs have a distinct look with their cone-shaped heads and bodies that range from light brown to black. Some even have flashy red, yellow, or tan spots on their bellies. These bugs are usually active at night, which is when they tend to feed on their unsuspecting hosts, humans. The real trouble starts not with the bite itself, which can be itchy and uncomfortable, but with what comes after. Kissing bugs can carry a dangerous disease called Chagas, this disease is transmitted when the bug defecates near the bite, and the feces enter the body through the bite wound or other open cuts. Chagas disease can be quite serious. It often starts with symptoms that might seem mild, like fever or fatigue, but it can progress 
to cause severe heart and digestive problems. The scariest part? Many people don't show symptoms until the disease has done significant damage. To avoid the risk of encountering kissing bugs, it's important to keep your living environment secure. Make sure that there are no openings in your home where these bugs could sneak in, like under doors or through torn screens. Keeping your sleeping area clean and free from clutter also helps reduce hiding spots for these bugs. Since they are known to hide in piles of laundry or bedding, regular cleaning is key. Now that we've looked at fire ants and kissing bugs, let's meet a really big and scary insect. The giant Japanese hornet. Big trouble from giant hornets. Now let's dive into something a bit bigger and definitely badder. The giant hornet, specifically known as the giant Japanese hornet. These insects are massive, with some growing up to three inches long. They're not just big, they're also incredibly dangerous due to the powerful venom they carry. This venom can cause paralysis, destroy kidney cells, and in severe cases, lead to death. These hornets are particularly drawn to humans who sweat, consume alcohol, smell sweetly, or are active, which makes certain outdoor activities riskier. Imagine going for a jog or having a picnic in an area where these hornets live. You could unintentionally attract them. Each year, these hornets are responsible for about 40 deaths, underscoring their danger. Their venom triggers an allergic reaction in many people, and if they sting repeatedly, it can dissolve tissue quickly, causing even more severe medical issues. Beyond their impact on humans, giant hornets are also a terror for bees. A single hornet can take down 40 bees in just a minute, decimating bee populations and disrupting local ecosystems. Given their aggressive nature, it's crucial to be cautious in areas known to have giant hornets. If you're traveling or living in parts of Asia where these hornets are common, being aware of your surroundings and avoiding actions that might attract them is vital. Protective clothing and avoiding heavily scented products can also help reduce the risk of an encounter. If you do find yourself in an area with giant hornets, staying calm and slowly moving away from them can sometimes prevent them from attacking. And this is not even the worst of them. There's plenty more to discover. Imagine a big, annoying fly, but instead of just buzzing around your picnic, it's carrying a deadly disease. That's the setsi fly for you, a common pest in the warmer parts of Africa. These flies are not just irritating, they're incredibly dangerous because they spread African sleeping sickness. This disease is lethal if not treated, and sadly the treatment is tough and not always effective. The setsi fly likes to drink the blood of animals that have backbones like livestock and even humans. When they bite, they inject harmful toxins that can cause serious health problems. The symptoms of African sleeping sickness include feeling confused, uncoordinated, numb, and having trouble sleeping. Eventually, if it's not treated, the disease can be fatal. But here's a bit of good news. Efforts to reduce the number of these flies have been working. People have been finding ways to control the fly populations, and it's making a big difference. A while back, this sickness used to eliminate hundreds of thousands of people every year. Thanks to these efforts, by 2015, the number of people dying from it had dropped significantly to about 3,500. That's still a lot, but it's much less than before. It's important to keep working on controlling these flies and improving treatments because as long as they are around, they pose a real threat to people living in or visiting those areas of Africa. Scientists and health workers are constantly looking for better ways to deal with the flies and the sickness they bring. From the giant hornets, we turn to another fierce insect, the Africanized honeybee, famous for attacking in large numbers if disturbed. Beware 
the painful sting of killer bees. Now let's talk about another buzzing creature, the killer bee, more formally known as the Africanized honeybee. In 2017, bees were linked to the deaths of 89 people in America, with the majority being men. The main cause of these deaths is something called anaphylactic shock, which is a severe allergic reaction that can be deadly. Killer bees are similar to regular honeybees, but they have a reputation for being much more aggressive. Their sting hurts just as much as the next bees, but what makes them scary is how defensive they get. If they feel threatened, they don't just sting you once, they can swarm and sting in large numbers, much more than other bees. Imagine being chased by a swarm of bees for up to a mile just because you got too close to their hive. That's what killer bees can do. These bees live in huge colonies, sometimes with over 80,000 members. If something disturbs them, they don't calm down quickly. For about a day after being disturbed, they'll attack anything that moves near them, whether it's a person or an animal. Even though they're called killer bees, deaths from their stings are quite rare, usually just one or two globally each year. But because of their aggressive nature, people need to be careful around them. Beekeepers and researchers are always trying to find ways to manage these bees better to keep both bees and people safe. Understanding their behavior and finding methods to prevent attacks is key to living harmoniously with these unique creatures. Keep watching to find out the most dangerous bug of them all. Imagine a bug so big and tough that it can eat ducklings and venomous snakes. That's the giant water bug for you. These creatures are top predators in their watery world and they have a unique way of hunting. They simply wait, clinging to a plant in the water. Anything that swims or floats by that looks like a meal, boom, they grab it and it's dinner time. They might remind you of cockroaches because of how they look. But trust me, they're much scarier. They're far more aggressive and their bite, it really hurts. Luckily for us, though painful, their bites aren't harmful to humans. These giant water bugs are fascinating, not just because of their size or their diet, but also because of how they care for their young. It's the male water bug that takes on the parenting duties. He carries the eggs on his back, keeping them safe from predators and making sure they stay wet until they hatch. This might sound a bit strange or even make your skin crawl, thinking about all those eggs on its back, but it's actually a remarkable example of nature's wonders. The commitment of these dads ensures that the next generation of giant water bugs makes it into the world. Now, you might not see these bugs often, unless you're hanging around ponds or lakes where they like to live. They blend into their surroundings very well, which makes them excellent at catching their prey off guard. Despite their fierceness in the water, giant water bugs are quite important to their ecosystems. They help keep other aquatic animal populations in check, which balances the food chain. So, next time you're near a body of fresh water, keep an eye out for these incredible insects. But maybe keep your fingers to yourself to avoid that notorious bite. Now onto a much smaller but surprisingly more dangerous creature, the mosquito. You might not think much of them because of their size, but they are actually the deadliest animal on the planet because of the diseases they spread. These tiny insects are responsible for more human suffering and death than any other creature, including large predators like sharks or lions. Mosquitoes can carry diseases like malaria, dengue fever, and Zika virus which takes down millions of people every year. And the best part is yet to come. Mosquitoes are everywhere in the United States, from the hot and humid south to the cold regions of Alaska. They love warm weather, but all they need to breed is water that doesn't move much, like the water in puddles or old buckets. Even a little bit of water in a discarded bag of chips can become a mosquito nursery. 
So if you don't want these bugs turning your backyard into their home, you need to be vigilant. Change the water in bird baths and pet bowls every day. Fix any leaks in your garden hoses and make sure there's no standing water around your home. Mosquitoes are always looking for places to lay their eggs and they don't need much space to do it. Living with mosquitoes means constantly being aware of where and how you might be inadvertently inviting them into your space. They may be tiny, but the threat they pose is huge. By taking simple steps to control where they breed, you can reduce your risk of mosquito bites and the diseases they carry. Remember, every small effort helps when it comes to keeping these dangerous pests out of your life. Is it possible that these bugs are just misunderstood creatures, or are they truly nature's most dangerous predators? We'd love to hear what you think about these creepy crawlies. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating and shocking content.